Hi, this is Matt with another amateur instructional video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the 06 uh, Smart Pet Feeder. Uh, it came in this box over here. I basically took it out, uh, opened up the center lid here. Uh, there was a tray that just snapped in place, an AC power adapter I just plugged up to the wall, to the outlet, and then uh, it came with this manual here, okay? Now in this manual, on the very back, there is a QR code to basically install the Smart Pet Feeder app. Um, otherwise, um, hold on here one second here. Otherwise, okay, otherwise you can go to the Android or Apple App Store and download it. It's called Pet Fun, okay? So once you get it downloaded, um, essentially I'll show you over here on the manual. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to open it and show you um, what's going to happen the first time you see it, okay? So the first time you see it, um, it's going to ask for login information, which you don't have yet. So you're going to click register. You're going to put in your email address and a six-digit password, okay? Once you do that, you should be able to hit go, and then you should see this screen. Um, actually, this is what it'll look like after you've uh, binded the application to your feeder through the process shown right here. Now, you're going to actually select, if I bring it a little closer, you're going to select the option with no video. Um, it's going to find the closest Wi-Fi access point. You're going to enter your password. It'll take a few minutes and then it should show connected, okay? Now, after that happens, this is what you're going to see, okay? This is the actual app. So before I show you how to set everything up, I'm just going to show you a few additional options. If you click more down here in the bottom right, um, it talks about the application under About. Uh, you can remove the binding to your um, pet feeder, which you don't want to do. Uh, then you'll have to renew your connection again. Um, and it also has an event list that talks about all your various feedings and the times and the date and that sort of thing. Uh, below here under Settings, you can click Pet Information. You can put in your pet name, take a picture of your pet. Um, you can set the, the age, the weight, the breed, uh, the personality, uh, all sorts of things, how active your pet is. Um, and then of course you have the option to change your password. Um, now record setting, if you wanna add a, a record, actually records your voice, okay? So essentially you can set up um, a manual or automatic feeding to feed your pet um, that will basically, uh, they'll be able to hear your voice and they'll know it's time to eat and they'll come to your feeder. So that's a really neat feature with this. So we've already set up one recording here. Um, of course, we have push notifications on. So it'll tell us um, any kind of additional information when the pet's being fed, um, anything that we need to take notice of. So um, now as I show you the setup here, um, I wanted to also mention one thing I didn't mention prior. Um, when you're connecting your device here, uh, make sure you read your instructions because um, before you go ahead and enter your password for your Wi-Fi to begin the connection process, you need to make sure that the green light here is flashing, okay? And if it's not, then open up your lid here and there is a set button that you need to hold for five seconds, okay? And then the green light will flash. Now once that happens, then you're ready to go ahead and click um, next with your Wi-Fi name and password to start the connection process. Otherwise, it might fail. Okay, so um, after that, essentially this talks about um, your feedings, whether they, you know, some feedings in the past, yesterday or today, which we have none. You also have the option to set up automatically uh, where you can select a time. It's based on military time. Um, you can select the recording, which of course you can select the one that we've used here. I'm Come hitting... here, little doggy. Come here. Okay. I just hit the button and basically it, it, it bas uh, made the sound, the recording. Okay, that's what it's going to sound like. Set the recording. You can set your portion, whether you want one or up to ten, which you can test it out and try. Um, and then click uh, done or you can set up another meal so you can set up a few feedings throughout the day. Um, last, you have the option of a manual feeding, just if you want to test it out to see what one portion is. So we'll do that right now. We'll click done. Okay, and, and clearly, uh, oh, it says there's no food. Okay, well, actually, there is food. Hold on one moment here. Let me take a look. 
Gonna make sure everything's okay here. Okay, let's give it another try. Uh, we'll click manual and we'll click, you know, we'll do two portions. How about that? Okay. Okay, it's starting to come out now, okay? So it, it really depends what you put in there. For the testing purpose, we put in some, some corn flakes, but if, if you have your cat food or your dog food, the spittle should work appropriately and you should have no issues uh, with the various portions, okay? Uh, certainly a lot more will come out than just that. Uh, that's not typically what's in there. So, okay, well again, this was Matt with another amateur instructional video. I hope everyone has a great day.